Now in this one, I'm going to do one simple thing, which is to rename tables. It's going to be a very short video, just trying to clean up some of the mistakes I might have made before. And looking at the exam paper, they do want the naming convention to be adhered to. What that means is that there are certain names or the way we name things. So for example, the syntax in, an, in, in a programming language or the syntax in English, typically it begins with a, a capital letter in English, ends with a full stop. In databases, for example, this is the customer table. I'm going to rename this quickly, okay? So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to rename and please remember this has to be closed. So if you have this table open and you try to rename it, it just won't work. So you have to click on the X here to close it. Um, right click again, go to rename. The naming convention is table customer and table is typically in the form TBL, I believe. So that says this is the customer table. Now, I prefer the way I named it before, but this is a naming convention that most people in databases use. Let's do that. And then we're going to have a customer type. So this is a table as well. I'm going to rename this. Right click, go down to rename. And we're going to call this table customer type. So again, TBL customer type. Next, we're going to have a ticket table. Right click, rename. We're going to remove table from the end and put TBL. And please note that TBL is in lowercase and there should be no spaces anywhere in your databases when naming things. And the last one, we have ticket type table. I'm going to right click, go to rename, remove the word table at the end, go all the way to the beginning and put TBL. So if you do ever make a mistake when creating your table, when, when typing in the name, this is how you would rename it. I think I probably showed it before, but just wanted to make sure it was there again. This is something that's very, very important, naming conventions. Um, there should be no spaces. And typically, some people might also have um, an underscore or a dash. I don't recommend that for this unit. Simply leave it as no spaces and an uppercase letter when something else starts. So let's say this was called table customer reviews. What I would do, I would put TBL for table, customer, a capital C for customer there, and I would put capital R for reviews. And this is how you would name it. OK, let me undo that. Let me save my database. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to get to the next section.